Hey folks, it's Joe here at uh, Paracord Planet headquarters and uh, today we're going to make a fishtail bracelet. Um, but this fishtail bracelet is, uh, we're going to make it in the, with colors of the American flag uh, in, honor, in honor of uh, Memorial Day weekend here. So um, let's get started. Um, what I have here is about six feet uh, of Imperial Red um, cord about six feet of white paracord, and about five feet of uh, electric blue uh, cord with uh, glow-in-the-dark tracers. Um, I found this is the best one that m mostly resembles the flag with uh, 50 stars. Um, also have a side release buckle. You know, I got a fid, uh, a lighter, and the scissors. So let's get started. So our first order of business is gonna be taking the white and the red uh, strands and uh, fusing them together um, so that way our bracelet can be multicolored um, so let's go ahead and start with that gonna need a lighter for this step what you're gonna do is just take the lighter and heat up these two ends here So they're nice and hot, and then you just simply merge them together. Like so. There we go. Now we're going to take our side release buckle. And we're going to go in from the bottom and up. Okay. Do this maneuver, and then we can pull tight. Now you should have uh, one one strand to the right, one strand to the left, and they should be different colors. So the red one to the right, white one to the left. Really doesn't matter which side they're on. Now we're gonna run our fingers through here until we find the ends and we're also gonna go in from the bottom and up through the loop and pull, pull it all through Now we're gonna go ahead and measure the length of our bracelet using a ruler. Let's break the buckle apart and then you can measure however long you want your bracelet to be. about the size I wear. All right, now we're at this step. We're gonna take this uh, right hand strand through the center, under the red, and to the left hand side. Let's pull it all through. Okay. And this red strand, the one on the left hand side, and take that through the middle, under the right uh, strand, which is the white, and you just pull it all through. And I should have something that looks like this. And 
Now we're going to take the same strand, the red one, and we're going to bring it back over through the middle under the left strand. And we just pull it all through. And this is where you pull tight. Make it nice and tight. And you should have something that looks like this. So now we're going to go with the white strand, the one on the left here. Well, I guess they're both to the left. And bring it over the strands through the middle and under the one on the, under the strand on the right, and then just pull it all through. Okay, now we're gonna bring it back through the middle under the right hand strand. And pull tight. Okay. Now the red. Through the middle. Under the right. Pull through. And then back through the middle under the red pull all the way through and then pull tight so you're starting to get that red and white there pattern there now we're gonna go again with the white through the middle underneath Pull it all through. Now, back again. Through the middle. Under the red. Pull tight. Now the red. Let me pull tight. All right, you see it's starting to take shape here. So we've got the basic pattern, white, red, white, red. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and skip forward just to save time on the uh, on the video and not make it too long. And then when I'm ready to switch to the blue, I'll uh, bring you back in. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting towards the end here. And for this last part, I want to switch to my blue cord so that we have the red and the white here, and then we have the blue to represent the stars. Um, so you want to end up with your right or your left hand strand uh, through the middle and under the right hand strand. So it's like a like a cross here. When you got that, you want to take your blue cord and you want to bring it behind those two strands so you got something like this so now instead of continuing the pattern with this strand we can kick that aside 
and we can continue the pattern with the blue. So we'll bring it on uh, through the middle and under the right hand strand. We pull it through. And the white we can also kick that aside. And it'll be in it'll be in the way. So, so you have that, tighten a little bit. Then we're gonna win bring this the one on the left side over the red through the middle and under the white and you pull it through you want to pull that tight now this this paracord with the glow in the dark tracers um, it's a little more stiff it's a little bit harder to work with but you can get it just take some time and you just continue your pattern so with the blue instead of the, the red and the white and forget to keep the bracelet tight by pushing up and pulling on these strands So this is what your bracelet, uh, bracelet should be looking like. Uh, once again, I'm gonna go go ahead and fast forward, just so that this video isn't uh, incredibly long. But once we get to the end here, I'll uh, bring you guys back in and show you how to finish this off. All right, folks. Now that we're to the end here, we can go ahead and cut all these, all four of these and then get ready to melt them so we can take the scissors and I'd say cut pretty close to the bracelet you don't need that much to melt and glue so about there for the red cut the white as well I'm gonna do this side Our lighter and get them nice and hot. And take your scissors and flatten it down. Get it to glue with the other strands. One down, three to go. Side. Looks like we might be able to do these at the same time. Press down. Okay, at this point you can check out your bracelet. Make sure it's all straight. Okay, now you can buckle it, form it into a circle. And there you have it, folks. 
got a bracelet that looks like the American flag. And you can wear it in honor of all of those who served as Memorial Weekend approaches. Thanks for watching.